Welcome to Cujo Sound. This is Unity and Wise Integration. Hello and welcome back to Cujo Sound. Today we're going to be talking a little bit more about the ray casting. The previous video was pretty good. It sort of explained it in a very, very broad manner. Now we're going to simplify it, draw a ray between two objects, and cause some occlusion to happen. But also talk a little bit more about how ray casting can be used and how we can sort of figure out what is going on with this ray casting and also how we can debug a little easier. So I've made this more simplified scene where we have our player here and we have a fire barrel over here that plays the fire sound from before that we had in the other scene. So if we press play, you'll be able to walk around this scene and you will straight up be able to see our player approach this and you will be able to hear the fire sound. Here we go. The previous script that we did in the previous video was containing a lot of things and actually it was doing a lot of things that, that wasn't that simplified. At least it's not the kind of simplified that I would like to participate that I would like to contribute with on this channel. So we're going to be creating something very, very simple now. We have here our fire thing. Okay, we have our audio emitter that we have created here. If you don't know how to do this, you should go back and watch some of the previous episodes on how to create this audio emitter and have it play this sound and how we in WISE can be creating these events over here and have it play this fireplace sound. Right. So first off, we're going to be creating a new script down here. And let's just call it OCC underscore. So let's open it up. So how do we make a raycast? A raycast needs to know where it needs to be fired from and where it needs to go. So let's start by defining up here where we want to go from and where we want to go to. Public game object, audio listener. This is where we want to go from this current object. So here in our void update, we need to calculate how to go from this current object to this object. And we'll get to that over in Unity in a minute. We create a vector three. A vector three is a coordinate or a distance between things. It just contains an X, Y, and C value. So we create a vector three that we are going to be calling direction. And this direction will be equal to our audio listener dot transform position minus transform dot position. Now, that means that we take the transform position of this object, the vector three coordinates of this object, and we subtract this current object's transform position from it. That means that we get a variable vector three call that we call direction, which contains the information that we need to go from this object to the audio listener object. Now, in order to do a raycast, we need some raycast information. So there is a call here called raycast hit, which simply provides you with the information of what did the raycast hit. And we're just going to be calling it out info, just like as in the previous video. Now, how to actually throw this actual ray? That's pretty interesting because right now nothing is being thrown. So we create a Boolean value that we are going to be calling hit. And this is where the actual raycast happens. When you type physics.raycast, and we want to go from transform position because we want to know go from this specific object, and we want to go in direction because we have defined that that is the direction between our two objects and out and this this is where it provides you with the out info that you need so out info we want which means that this variable here will contain all the information that we want and that we expect to get back from this sort of raycast and for how long do we want to throw this ray we will create a public float called max distance which means that we can say max distance right here and max distance should be let's just call it 25 meters just to begin with now all these public things here they will all appear in unity over here under our script 
So you will see our audio listener and our max distance and our variables that we can change over here in the editor. So let's drag the listener, which is our camera, down here. Now, one problem with this is that this object that you want to collide with needs to have a collider on it. And the problem with this is that the free third-person controller script that we are using has some problems with colliders on things. So we are going to be creating this sphere collider here. We make it a trigger so that it does nothing. We make the radius as small as possible so that it does not interfere with anything, else you will get this kind of weird behavior. That might explain, if you're drag and dropping a sphere collider onto your camera, why it's behaving weirdly. So right now, we actually have a raycast being thrown from this object towards our listener. We just can't see it yet. So how can we see it? Well, down here, if we write debug.drawRay, it'll draw a ray, which we can then, of course, make it draw the ray the same way as we do with the actual raycast, and that way we can always see our ray. So if we write drawRay, and we want to go from transform.position, because it's this object, and we want to go in direction, like this. So now that when we press play, you should be able to see a ray being thrown from that object towards the camera that we have added to our script. See? Over on the left, you can see a nice ray. If you can even move the camera here, you can see the camera is moving. And there's a ray, there's a line being drawn from this object. To the camera which is really smart because in that way we can see where our ray is being thrown at the moment and that's nice okay i hope you enjoyed this video and this taught you a little bit about ray casting some more we will expand on this and we will make sure how to debug this a little bit better don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video Thank you for watching Kujo Sound. If you want to know more about game audio, Unity, and WISE integrations, please like this video if you enjoyed it, and hit subscribe if you want to know more. Or head over to patreon.com forward slash Kujo Sound, where you for as little as $1 a month can help me sustain this channel and the time I take off to create all this material. I would really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Kujo Sound and Bjorn Jacobson signing out.